What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Finally back with another Omnibus comic book haul. It's been about two weeks or so, so this is two weeks of books. We have five books to go over. I got my Omni Bros Live shirt on. We're ready to rock. Stay tuned. All right, so last week I got the Ven Omnibus Volume 2. It was the only book that was in my haul, so I held it for today where I got four books in, two trade paperbacks. We got three Omnis total. So let's jump into it. First of all, I have a wish list on in stock trades and um, I usually put everything on there that you know I wanna get. But I always make sure before I check out that I check the new releases and I happen to stumble upon this gem, Dino Saucers Trade Paperback Volume One. I feel like I'm the only one in the world who ever watched this cartoon and I freaking love that theme song. So this is actually a pretty thick trade paperback. This collects oh, Dino Saucers issues one through five. So I guess, I don't know, only five issues. But it seems like a lot. Anyway, futuristic dinosaurs from outer space come to Earth working with four uh, Captain Planet type kids. <laughs> I had no idea there was ever a comic book for this. Um, but it actually looks pretty cool though. Anyway, uh, this has a $13 cover price in stock. Probably had it 35 40% off or something. Dino Saucers Rept Reptilon. All right, so the cover doesn't really look much like the cartoon that I remember. Uh, but we'll take a look at the interiors because they do. Here's the spine. It does have a one on it, so maybe they plan on making more. <laughs> Dino saucers. Do 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 do. The comic actually looks a little bit more mature than I remember the cartoon looking. The cartoon was like your typical late eighties kind of early nineties Saturday morning cartoon. Think like Captain Planet, but the premise is like. You have these dinosaurs from outer space, man. Dino saucers. So, be a fun little nostalgic read. Uh, this was another one that wasn't on my wish list, but I picked up the Spider Get in trade paperback. I'm not up to date with like current Amazing Spider Man, so I figured I would just pick up this storyline and see what it was all about. I mean, I read Spider Verse, I read Venom Verse, um, some of um, Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide. I read a couple of things, um, Red Goblin. So I figured I'd pick this up. Twenty-five dollar cover price on this trade. I didn't realize it was that expensive. But it collects Spider Geddon zero through five and Vault of Spiders one through two. Okay. Oh, it looks like it has the PS4 Spider-Man in here. Okay. Anyway, I didn't hear good things, but. I think the only thing is I heard about it was from Manimal, and he hates Spider-Man. So anyway, Spider-Geddon, which is basically like Spider-Verse 2.0. We got PS4 Spidey, Classic, Superior, Miles, 2099, Spider-Gwen, Nor, Spider-Woman, don't remember her. I guess that's Spider-Girl, Punk Spider, Scarlet Spider, Silk, forget who she is. Spine. Back. I wonder if this guy knows he's from a video game. Hey, I'm PS4 Spidey. Looks like Clayton Crane art. I wonder. Like a Doc Ock Spidey there. I'm a sucker for Spider Man stuff, man. It's how cheap. No matter how cheesy it is or how many Spider Men they make. Look at this. Somebody look at this. Kane. Oh, God. A oh, manga Spider-Man. Looking like Spider-Man no more. Alright. First Omni of the Hall, we have the Miss Marvel Omnibus. I was lucky enough to swoop in there and get that direct market variant. 
the DM variant, which is the cover of Miss Marvel 1, uh, the first appearance of Carol Danvers as uh, Miss Marvel. So this collects that, uh, issues 1 through 23. Issue 9, I believe, is the first appearance of Mystique. Or maybe it's 8. Or maybe 19. No, 18. One of those issues. It also collects Marvel Team Up 61 and 62, 76 through 77, Defenders 57, uh, Marvel 2 and 151, Marvel Super Heroes 10 through 11, Avengers 200, and Annual 10, which is uh, the first appearance of Rogue. If you guys don't know, Rogue uh, gets her powers. So Rogue's powers are, if she comes in contact you, with you, she can absorb your mutant power or your life force, really. And if she holds it for too long, she'll kill you and take your powers permanently. So the powers that Rogue has as far as like flight and invulnerability and, and strength, that's Miss Marvel's powers that she kills her. She kills Carol Danvers and and that's how she becomes Rogue. I think that's in Avengers Annual 10. Anyway, uh, $100 cover price on this bad boy. I definitely got it at 50% off. Uh, probably had a loyalty discount, which probably added another 2% off. Which is cool. I think this cover um, sold out in uh, less than two hours is what I'm hearing. So, with them new Omnis, you got to stretch that spine, y'all. So, I do this to relax the spine. You hear a lot of cracking and creaking, it's a little glue and stuff like that. So, it's good to kind of do this so that that doesn't harden up and damage the ribbon or damage the, uh, the spine on the book. Let's do it like two or three times. This is your first time seeing me do this. I actually have a whole video on it. So go check that out. That Ms. Marvel Omni, y'all. Here's our cover. Spine. Ms. Marvel, A Hero is Born. Old school style with all the covers on the back. Ms. Marvel 1. Avengers Annual 10. I forget that Mystique. Uh, I think this is the Mystique first appearance. I have to double check that Mystique first appearance because I got her statue shipping out uh, Thursday. So I have to get it together. Spine looks the same as the dust jacket. All black book. Here you go, Ms. Marvel. Here was born. Chris Claremont, Jim Mooney, and Mike Vosberg. I like this costume. It's cool. So Bronze Age Marvel. Not in a hurry to read this, but maybe we'll get around to it one day. I know some people want to knock it out because, you know, the movie's about to come out, but I'd rather go in fresh to the movie. I don't really want to know all this stuff. I'll read it one day. It was Beast. Mystique, Raven, Darkholm, looks like McFarlane, next up got the Wonder Woman Omnibus by Phil uh, Jimenez, and I wasn't really too excited about this, but reading the synopsis, it actually sounds like a pretty dope book, man. Uh, has a lot to do with Gotham and Batman, I believe. So it collects Wonder Woman 164 through 188, Wonder Woman, Donna Troy 1, Our uh, World at War, number 1, DC Special, The Return of Donna Troy, 1 through 4, and it has pinups, variants, secret files, and more. $75 cover price on this. It's got a wraparound cover. There's a lot of different Wonder Women. We'll show it in a sky view. So check it out while I stretch the spine. So I'll tell you right now, I mean, you could tell that the binding is a lot tighter on this than on that Captain Marvel or that Miss Marvel Omni. But there's still really not any, not much gutter loss. You could still kind of see everything in the middle. All right, so here is the dust jacket. Pretty cool, standing on this skull here. Brontosaurus in the back and all that. 
So they are cranking out the Wonder Woman omnibus. Here's the back. That looks really good, actually. I don't know why sometimes DC does the all black. Sometimes they do a wraparound cover. The uh, the cover looks really nice in this uh, in this book here. Check it out. So yeah, I have, haven't read this run. This will be new material for me. But I think I'm going to go ahead and read those Wonder Woman Absolute Editions from the New 52 before I would jump into this or like the George Perez stuff. Although the art looks really good here, man. And I guess she fights a lot of the Gotham's rogues gallery in this run is what I was reading. The binding is a little tight on this one. That's dope. Last up, my favorite out of the hall, the Venom Omnibus Volume 2. This continues the 90s run of Venom's escapades as the lethal protector as the anti-hero after tormenting spider-man for a few years in the late 80s um this has a wraparound cover and it's okay it looks like it has a uh, carnage spider-man cover i'm not really familiar with this piece like i was with the uh, other volumes but nevertheless it's got some uh cool little mini series man bride of venom it's got the Planet of the Symbiote storyline, which was collected over like five different titles as a like an oversized issue. You got Along Came a Spider. You got The Hunted. You have uh, The Hunger. Uh, Venom vs. Wolverine, which I'm excited to read. I remember seeing those issues as a kid. Venom on Trial. License to Kill. Uh, Sign of the Boss. You get the finale, which this is the last issue from finale. So cool stuff, man. I, I think this should probably round out the Ven Omnibus. I don't know that there's going to be a volume three, but I like how they put Ven Omnibus. That's pretty clever. There's a couple of Marvel Omnibus that did that. The Marvel Zombies is the Marvel Zomnibus, and then you have the uh, Monster Bus, which is the Silver Age uh, pre-hero monster stuff that uh marvel published you know manimal did a recent reads on the verse uh the first volume and i've read all that material before so i didn't really want to do it but um maybe i'll do that for this volume i don't think he's going to want to read it and a lot of the stuff i don't remember at all yeah the Ven omnibus i think i had everything that was collected in that in trade paperback which i read like when i first moved out here like two years ago all right, so you got to love this cover, man. That is a vivid, colorful, well-drawn Venom cover. I really am happy with that. Goes your spine, Venom omnibus, the Venom logo. And, of course, we have the back with all the covers. I'm really a big fan of that. What it collects, cover price. Here goes our wraparound cover. I don't know if this was the best uh, double page spread they could have used for the wraparound cover. Maybe it was, but eh, it's just okay. It's, I mean, it's cool. I like how Spider-Man looks here. Venom. The center takes all. I remember having these issues as a kid. Oh, that's the evil within. <laughs> Venom's ex-wife gets the symbiote. Bride of Venom. Oh, I guess that's part of Sinner Takes All. Okay. Now, this is post Todd McFarlane, Bagley, and Larson. Or Larson and Bagley. Some tarantula action there. Spider-Man thing. 
So this is Planet of the Symbiotes. This always bothered me because I always thought that Venom had Spider-Man type eyes because the symbiote merged with Spider-Man in his costume that had those type of eyes. So how come on the Planet of the Symbiotes they all have those same type of eyes? That always kind of bothered me. Hmm. Oh, so she's around for a little bit. <laughs> you got, I mean, you're buying this for the artwork, really, right? Very cool. Here's the cover of the dust jacket. Fan art venom. Hey, just like the statues. <laughs> That's cool, the original art. That was the cover for one of the uh, either Clone Saga or Ben Riley Saga trade paperbacks. All right, guys, so that's the haul for today. Normally, uh, Manimal does his new comic book day reviews today, but those got delayed, so I should be able to drop that tomorrow. Sorry for the delay on that, but stuff happens. Uh, again, shout out to Omni Bros Live. I didn't get the shirt for free or anything, but still, shout out to them. Um, let me know what you thought about the haul in the comments below. None of these are I need to read right away type books, but I definitely want to read like that He-Man omnibus that comes out, uh, that came out today, that I'll get next week. I'm going to want to read that right away. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content, which includes omnibus hauls, reviews of the actual storylines, statue unboxing and reviews, plus more. We just hit 22K, man, so appreciate everybody who subscribed, and y'all stay minty. Peace.